is we're going to take a look at what happens if we do the wrong thing, and the wrong thing is pulling through when we get overbanked. So I'm going to do one, then you're going to do one, all right? And what we're doing is we're going to do all the maximums in the airplane. The split S is going to be an introduction to be an overbank situation and an inappropriate response of pulling through instead of rolling upright and recovering the airplane. So to do this, 80 to 100 knots, we're going to slow it down. We're going to pull the nose up just like an aileron roll. Then we're going to roll inverted and pull through. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. There's 100 knots pulling the nose up. Follow me through. Okay, we're going to roll. Note the altitude, 7,400 feet. Now I'm going to pull through. I don't want to stall it. I don't want to see 3.8. Here I go, coming down. There we are, right at 3.3G, 3.5G. Right up. There we go, we're level again. You see the altitude? Uh, all right, so we lost 2,100 feet of altitude pulling through. So, in these stall recoveries or overbanks or wake turbulence upsets, whatever the situation, we never ever want to pull through in an overbank because we're anywhere near the traffic pattern. Does it make sense? It's not going to be if we go into the ground. It's going to be how far underground we go. Right. And we saw in the worst cross-controlled stall recovery, we lost 800 feet, which is enough. So our whole goal in the traffic pattern is to avoid stalls, especially uncoordinated stalls, completely. But if we do stall it, we always want to do a proper stall recovery and roll upright. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, you have the controls. I have the we're all set up. Let's pull the nose up. Pull power, that's it, pull the nose up. Okay, now roll inverted. All right, now this one I want you to pull the power back. Pull the power back to idle. Look at that, 7,400 feet we started. All right, look at that. Disoriented, maximum G, there we are. That's like 3.8 G, right up, right up, right up. Very nice. Good, 1,600 feet of altitude loss in that one. Pretty impressive. Now, why do you think there's a difference in the altitude loss in those two maneuvers? Did I pull the power back? That's right. You pulled the power back, right? Because what happened, I have control. I have control. The more time we can spend below maneuvering speed, the smaller our turn radius is going to be. Anytime we get overbanked and there's a risk of exceeding maneuvering speed in a dive recovery, we want to get that power back to idle to minimize our turn radius. Minimizing turn radius minimizes altitude loss. Any questions on that? No.